I'm not. This, this isn't like a social visit. All right. My husband was murdered here five years ago, and I'm here to, to stir everything up. I think there are some really some big milestones and five years is a big milestone um, you start to run out of excuses for why things are carrying on the way they are no progress whatsoever and I felt at, as we approached the five-year milestone it was right that I went to see back to the island to see the people who who I've, I've dealt with throughout, to thank the people who'd supported me and to, to try and understand better the steps that were being taken to try and arrest this spiral of ineffectiveness because nothing has been delivered in my case and in so many other cases. So here I am in my room in the um, Royal by Rex, which is now, the, I think it's Mystique by Rex. There's Pigeon Island. I'm just panning round Rodney Bay and this is the view from my, um, from my bedroom. I've, they've given me exactly the same room that I had a beachfront room that I had last time. It's all a bit special. And this is where we anchored ourselves um, in magnetic attraction, just in Rodney Bay. I'm holding it up. I'm sitting on my balcony. It's Sunday morning and um, I'm just recording what I did yesterday. I had a good day. I met with Ulrich Meissner um, of DSL Yachting, who was really helpful, and um, he confirms that the, my safety should be paramount, and um, he said, you know, you, I am a person that's known, and uh, I should be careful, so I'm glad I've got a driver. I met my driver, Mr. James, um, Donovan Williams recommended me, him to me, and um, he's a great guy. He's absolutely super. And um, what else? Yes, and then I had a lovely lunch in a little tapas bar that I know here with Claudia from the St. Lucia Star. What a super person. She's really, really lovely. And I got on with her so well. And um, we talked about all sorts, all sorts. I'm very cherished by the hotel. Um, they are absolutely so kind. Everyone knows me my name. I had supper last night and uh, chef came out to say welcome back. It was, um, it was charming and um, I'm very, very appreciative of, of all that they're doing for me. Streets yeah. full of uh, full of traffic. Today I'm meeting with the director of public prosecutions, but prior to that, with my um, my attorney and also the UK High Commissioner. And then afterwards, I'm going up to the Tapian Hospital to talk to Dr. Stephen King, who was the pathologist who conducted the post mortem when Roger died. Here is a roller coaster ride up the hill. Real Z bent, lovely houses. And at the top here is a view to die for. Most amazing views. Very nice view. Yeah. This Russian one is crucial. But that's risky. You enjoy it much more. Yeah. Yes. And There's the, the cruise ship at the morning. 
weather is nice. Fantastic view over Castries. Right over there, in the far distance, is where we've come from, in Redwick Bay. And the two cruise ships that are in at the moment, behind that in one... In the mountain there is Fijian Island, Rosemont, yes. that's where you live. The St. Lucian Royal is behind the mountain, the resort. Yeah, this is yes. flight coming, going up, Lear flight. Oh yes, it's a, there's a Lear jet just going up there. And then Castries in the bay. Tuesday morning and I am leaving for the airport after breakfast. It's, um, I'm s standing here on my balcony so that everyone can see a lovely view. Just to report on um, what happened yesterday. It was a good day. Um, I met with the Director of Public Prosecutions. Um, the Director of Prosecution, Public Prosecutions is very sanguine that the um, the trial for three of the accused will take place in January. A decision is to be made on the 18th of December. Um, so, but the downside is the courts still aren't open. No work was apparently done over the summer. And um, all the work will be done over the Christmas vacation to make the um, courts more secure. I then had a very helpful and constructive conversation with the Prime Minister and the Attorney General about progress and they're very clear and very confident that they've provided appropriate and sufficient resources for um, the courts to operate as they need to. Airport in St Lucia is, is at the airport. So I asked my driver on our way to take a little detour round by the bay and through the fish market and up the main the main street. And I have to say that was probably the saddest moment because I haven't been back to Via Fort since um, since the events in January 2014. Um, on one level I was pleased to have seen it, but it was very upsetting. It was the most upsetting moment of the trip. It's all incredibly familiar. What's interesting is that the... Nothing changes. Nothing changes. I remember taking a photograph of those green buildings. underwear store somewhere. Heaving with policemen. So many policemen. <laughs> fish market and also the fish dock and there's a dinghy dock where we it's slightly changed we we moored just down there there were other boats I'm going to yeah, yeah, out if I may. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. That's be lovely. I've got room, so yeah, that's it. Yeah. So I'm looking down here into the bay where magnetic attraction was moored on the fateful night, and we were anchored just in this bay here. There's no one anchored here now.
stuff. My reflections are it should not have taken more than five years. Matters have been dragged out. It hasn't reflected well on the country. St Lucia's reputation as a safe destination is increasingly compromised and there is this increasing loss of confidence in the effectiveness of the judiciary and the legal profession in, in delivering any outcome. I, there, I went through a stage of thinking it would ne the trial would never, ever happen. I now think it may happen at some point, but I, I don't know when.